Hello everyone. In the previous video I showed you how you can summarize a whole YouTube channel. In this one I'm going to show you how you can take one video that you're interested in and put it into Infranodus to represent it as a knowledge graph where we can see the main concepts that they're talking about in this video. So for example, we see that they're talking a lot about AI companies and also people in those companies and also models that can be used uh, and so on and can be applied in a separate cluster on TechBoom. So we get like a general representation of what this video is about. And here we can see the summary of the video. So here it says that the text discusses companies whose revenue outpaces costs, the, to, the race to advance AI models and the limitations of current testing and AI capabilities. So this is what this whole video is about. And then here is the most interesting part. It identifies a blind spot based on those clusters. So for example, here, there is one between tech boom and model validation. So like a more technical part of this podcast and uh, the one where they talk about the industry in general, the tech boom that is happening. And the uh, AI is feeding this gap uh, to itself and then generates an interesting question that can help you explore this whole concept further based on this video. So it's really great because you take the video, like you take this, uh, podcast interview that they did and then you identify what is missing inside and then you generate interesting questions that would bridge those gaps. So for example in this case uh, it's how can startups leverage the anticipated 100x improvement in AI foundational models so something that Sam Altman was was actually talking about earlier how he expects that those foundational models will improve 100 times in the cycle of boom and dust in tech sectors, ensuring that the, the solutions of the startups remain relevant and adaptable over time. And that and what role does strategic investment in model validation and code writing play in this context, right? So how can you stay relevant when the foundational models improve and how you can uh, in strategically invest and kind of like validate models in a way that ensures that even if something that you're using improves, you still have the cutting edge, right? So it's a very per pertinent question and the one that they actually mention a lot uh, in this conversation, you know, like how do you actually make sure that you offer something special, something that the foundational models cannot. So it's a really clever way of representing the missing part and kind of like motivating us, the viewers, to think further about the most interesting topic of this conversation. If we want, we can also reload the gap. So in this case, it's going to try to find other gaps and highlight them on the graph and generate new questions based on those new gaps. So it, you actually can reiterate through several of them. And then if you find something you like, like a, a gap or some misconnection that you would like to bridge together, then you just select it here. And then you go to human AI tech evolution. And if you click inside question, it's gonna use this AI panel to generate a question that would link those two topics together. And in the end, you know, you can also chat with this video. So for example, if you go here, and say uh, what do they think about the future what's the most relevant tech click elaborate and then it's going to uh, give you a general answer so in this case it just uses its kind of knowledge uh, general knowledge the consensus leans towards ai and quantum computing as future defining technologies offering unmatched processing power and intelligent solutions so this is kind of like a general response then if we take this same very question go here and say that we want to derive the answers from this context, then it's going to answer based on the content of this video. So that's really interesting because it's like you get to talk to Mark and Ben, uh, but through this kind of graphical interface, asking them questions that relate to this particular topic and generating an idea that would connect them in an interesting way. So here it's deriving the answers from the actual text, from the videos, uh, subtitles that you can see here with the time codes by the way which I'll talk about later because this is a really great way to jump into the content that you're interested in and here it's talking about the future seems intensely intertwined with AI's evolution so it's like a more uh, detailed answer than, than the one before because it takes the context of the video into account and it says the integration into every facet of technology especially foundational models growing exponentially stronger so it kind of like acknowledges uh, this fact and then it says that this advancement could revolutionize company building particularly in sectors like insurance through cost reductions and enhanced operational efficiency. So basically you don't have to invest into your own models. You invest more into the small changes that you can perform and the added value that you can give there, right? Because uh, you need too much resources to invest in those models. So this is kind of like a proposition that it gives from that video. This is what the guys are proposing. But 
uh, as you remember before, the model itself also proposes to think about quantum computing. So there was also this idea that you can introduce some other performance improvements where uh, you would be able to outpace everything that exists. So it's, it's kind of nice because when you focus on the content, you get a more practical answer. And when you're looking open and wide, then you can have a whole range of different options available. And the cool thing here is that once we represent the video in this way, right, we can also jump in and focus on the parts that we're interested in. So for example, here, if I'm interested in the topic of human AI, I select this topic, and then here I only see the statements that relate to this topic. So I'll jump exactly to the part of the video where they're talking about this, this topic, right? So here I jump, and then you see I'm at the time code where they talk about this specific stuff of uh, intersection between human and AI. And here you see the word human a lot, and the whole podcast is about AI. So I think it's pretty relevant. And then also I can go to the higher level and kind of go like, okay, human, what are they saying about humans and prompts, for instance? That's interesting. So let's select those two nodes and then we see the parts of the video where they talk about humans and prompts. So for example, here, human, this one has a high concentration of terms. So I go here. And then I will see the part of the video where they're talking about those concepts. So it's a pretty interesting way to also jump into the parts of the content that are relevant to you uh, and to find out stuff that you wouldn't maybe normally have enough time to reach by yourself. You can also, by the way, click this button and it's going to slice off the top layer from the content so you will get to the more and more obscure stuff, right? So if I press it a few times, it's slicing off the most relevant terms and it's directing me to the stuff that I'm more on the periphery, right? So here I sliced off already everything about AI and people and models. And here I'm getting to, for example, nature, like they used the word nature at some part of the conversation and technology. So that's interesting because let's see, just the nature of new technologies. So, so they're talking about the nature of technology, a more philosophical part of the conversation. And here I quick click here and you see it's towards the end of the conversation. So. I'm kind of sampling the video also using the graph. I get the overview, then I jump to some parts that are relevant to me, and then once I have this general overview, I can choose to then uh, listen and watch the whole video, or just write down some thoughts that I have from it, or use these extracts to actually generate some new content, right? So here I select nature of technology, and I can send it the same way to uh, the AI, and also clicking this button. So I'm going to take this context of this video into account, and then I'm going to try to have the model generate something that relates to those concepts, right? So for example, here it says, the cyclical nature of technology marked by alternating phases of boom and bust mirrors natural cycles, suggesting an inherent rhythm in the development and adoption of technological innovations. And this is great to think of uh, rhythms and how uh, those natural rhythms evolve and how we're now at the beginning of another rhythm and how it's going to be followed by a level of saturation and then change. So it kind of introduces the psychological perspective uh, into the whole thing of technology. And remember, this is a podcast about business. So it's really interesting that it's bringing this topic in. I'm going to save it into my notes here because I like it for another research and then favorite this context. So I remember to come back to it later. It's going to be highlighted with a star like this. And yeah, basically that's how it works. If you want to try it out, you can do so on infranodos.com and you go to the apps page and then you basically take the video that you like. Uh, here I'm just going to copy the link and then I add this link here. Just copy and paste the link. And here I can choose if I want to analyze the words or the concepts. Just before I analyze the words, I'm going to choose the entity. So then it's going to extract entities like cities, uh, main, more important concepts and try to build a graph between them can be more interesting, it's more sparse than the one that we had before, but it's much more kind of focused on the uh, individuals and places and theoretical concepts, so you can see it's more sparse and maybe it's good to start from this, uh, so then you kind of get like a clear idea, right? So it's like on data, startups, technology, speculation, software demand, uh, the internet, knowledge, and there is more stuff, so for example, here on insurance, right? So health insurance. So that's great because maybe I wouldn't find uh, this part of the conversation otherwise. And then again, I click here and I watch this inside. So this is how you would use it. And one other way of exporting it is to actually use our Infranodus browser extension. And if you open it on a YouTube video, it's going to generate those questions and summaries for you. 
So you can also summarize it here or uh, you know, see what are the main topics inside this, this particular video. So it kind of does the same thing. It even has uh, the graph if you would like to explore it. Also it's quite fun. And the chat. So you could also use uh, this widget and if you want to see it inside Infernodus you can either just see the graph itself but if you want a full tool, then you just click here. It's going to help you import this as a video itself, just the main ideas and so on, and visualize it as a graph that you've seen here on this page. So this is how it works. Try it out on infranodus.com. Uh, here is the address. And let me know if you have any questions. Also, please subscribe to this channel to support it and so that others get informed about this content. Thank you very much.